Hey guys, it is time to clean the smoker. I hate doing it, but I'm gonna show you how to do it super quick. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Yes, I hate, hate, hate cleaning my smoker, but as you know, and as you probably can tell, my offset smoker, yeah, that's awesome camera work I got going on today. But anyway, my offset smoker, that's my pride and joy. I absolutely love, love using my offset smoker, but it's been neglected because I've been doing the Traeger versus Oklahoma Joe videos and I miss putting my cover on, so I got a ton of rain in it. Uh, there's some funkiness in it and I really have to get this in clean before I use it next time. So I'm gonna show you a couple quick ways to clean it and then also just some other ideas, how I've seen other people clean it. And also I do have a few rust spots uh, and the best way to start getting rid of your rust spots and maintaining for the future. So let's get right to it. The other day I finished a cook and then before the cooker could cool down, the firebox, everything could cool down, rain started pouring. And as you can see, I've developed rust spots now all of this looked like that a little while ago but i've gotten bottles of spray pam and as i've done little quick fires in here to try to heat it up i'm trying to get my firebox real hot and then come in and spray it with pam so after i get this cleaned out and i show you how i'm doing that i'm going to spray it down with pam before my next cook and really just do another seasoning to help get rid of the rust spots and all that good stuff Now, we've got a problem. This thing has just gotten nasty. That water that came in and really rained hard, that caught me off guard before I could get my cover on, you know, you can see there's literally mold in here. I've never dealt, this is what happens when you neglect your smoker for a month and you're using other smokers, all types of different things uh, will happen to it. But the mold, that's a huge issue. I don't wanna cook anything without clearing that off. Now most people, they'll just do soap and water and really like, you know, really soap this down, grease this down. That's not my style. I'm gonna get my propane torch and I'm just gonna burn this out and really put the flame right onto it. Now my concern is, you guys know this, this is, you can't see me doing this, but my concern is this is thin metal. So as I'm putting direct flame on it, is it gonna cause some warping and all that? I would love to put flame on it and then power hose it down, get all that stuff out of there, but I'm gonna have to wait because I don't want super hot, then cold with this thinner metal. It's just probably not a great idea. All right, let's get the propane torch out. Hey guys, real quick, did you know we have an awesome offset smoker group? Best one on Facebook, hands down, really positive group. And that is the Kingsford Stockade 49 inch smoker and grill. These guys and ladies in the group are all super nice, super supportive on helping beginners, intermediate and experts post their pictures, ask questions without getting crushed on Facebook. Because you know the groups I'm talking about, a lot of people just get crushed when they ask a question. We're not like that. Come check out our group.
I'm pretty much done. I know there's a couple little spots I need to clean out real quick, but I'm gonna do that off camera. Uh, no, I am not the type to get mine looking brand new. That's just not my style. I wanna get anything that was real nasty off of it, uh, which I feel like I've done. And uh, I'm ready to fire this thing up, spray it all down with oil. Historically, I haven't, but I like this smoker. I want to keep it around a little bit, so I might as well treat it a little better. But that was just nasty, as you can tell with the mold that all burned off. Uh, and we're ready to cook again. Hey guys, we are done. As you can tell, cleaning is not really, it's not really my bag. I let it roll a lot longer than it probably should uh, in between cleans. Uh, there's different ways to do it. Like I said, some people will make this look brand new. I, I can't do that. I'm going to get any real funkiness off of it and then get back to smoking up food because that's what I want to do. I don't want to be a cleaner. It's just not my thing. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Quick video. That's how you do it with a propane torch. The takeaways. Uh, the propane torch was pretty hot, obviously. Yeah, there. there the light bulb thing I've said all day. All right. I did smell some odors of like the, you know, the t metal getting just way too hot, uh, but it went away pretty quickly. Uh, there was a lot of funky smells. Some of the smells that were amazing. They smelled the grease of the previous cooks were cooking off. And I mean, it got me wanting to fire this thing right up. Uh, but overall, pretty simple, pretty basic. It can be done with thinner metal. Just use a blowtorch. And there you go. That's it. That's how you clean a freaking offset smoker. You guys have a great day. Let me know what you're smoking in the comments below because I'm busy cleaning, which sucks. So indulge me. Let me know what you got going on. As always, subscribe, like, all that stuff. I'll see you guys later. Don't forget, if you are new to offset smoking, I have put all the videos in a smoking 101 beginner's basic playlist. Click on that playlist right at the end of this video so you can enhance your smoke game.